Friends, denizens of the internet, hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Song of Horror. We are stepping back into the shoes of Grace. I am Devo, Lost Time Gaming. Thank you for joining me once again. We are now actually in the, what appears to be in the sanctuary proper here, which, uh, which means I, you know, there can't be too many more uh, areas to explore in this place because, well, I mean, even though it's like a big abbey, it, geez, this place is huge. We've seen, we've been in so many rooms and two courtyards, a graveyard, a bunch of storerooms. How many rooms are there in this place? I could probably hide under this table. I really hate when you tell me that because that usually means I have to hide at some point. I know this place was bombed during World War II. That tree must be nearly 60 years old. Huh, okay. That, that That's a fun fact, Grace, thank you. I wonder what's in this box? Some kind of offering? Oh, you, I thought there was going to be like a follow-up actually like look and see, but no, there is not. I think that chain holds up the incense burner. Oh, okay. That's, that's also great, Grace. Thank you. What's well, behind door number one as we get right into it here? Yep, that doesn't seem evil in the slightest good. Apart from trying to find Husher, though, I still don't know what the heck we're doing here. I mean, I know Husher's trying to find out anything, but again, they've, they haven't been real descriptive. Oh, this leads back to... Back to the old cloister. Huh. Okay, I was wondering where we came out of the sewer. Wonder how many bottles they used in just one mass. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> As someone who used to do that kind of thing, it's like, uh, that that wine was the nastiest stuff imaginable. The door is clear. Solid bronze lock. Yeah, we do not have a solid bronze key, though. That is the unfortunate part. I must not been kind to those tapestries. Yeah, I'd reckon not. Tapestries, you know, being made of fabric. Sacramental objects, pretty, but useless. Ah, uh, the irony is rich, Grace. The irony is rich. Uh-oh. I feel a sneeze coming on one second. Alright, so this door is not evil. Let's get in there and check it out. Oh, I didn't expect that to actually open. Hello, Jesus on the cross. How are you today? Lovely, isn't it? What do we got here? Violinist Diary. Registered account of one of the musicians who played at St. Cecilia's 1912 winter concert. Oh, so it was much earlier than... It has been more than like 40 years. It's been like 100 years. Okay. I haven't had a drink since we arrived. I doubt that's the cause of what's happening to me, although I could sure use a good tonic. That accursed melody. Wolfgang found the score in a library among old scrolls and manuscripts from the ancient city of Byzantium that he shouldn't have been pursuing in the first place. Oh, perusing, I'm sorry. It was written in a... Saltic? I'm not familiar with that word. Byzantine notation system. Oh, that would be why I'm not familiar with that word. And none of these dimwits knew how to read it. I had to transcribe it on the usual staff so we could include it in our repertoire. An easy melody, uncannily hard to get out of one's head. Every time I rehearse on my own it feels disturbing. Thoughts I don't dare confess start crossing my mind and I feel a deep sense of unease. And yet every time I grab my violin, I play the song again. In group rehearsals these effects seem to multiply, and although none of us will admit it, I can see the restlessness in their eyes. I feel both fear and curiosity thinking of the concert, or a joint performance of the moment when the voices of the monks will invade the church halls. Wait, wait, wait. So, these people knew there was something obviously evil about this melody, and they played it anyway? And also, geez, if it does the evil stuff just from the box, I can't imagine what it would do live, you know what I mean? Metal piece. Rusty spare part that belongs to some tool. Up. Uh, where could I use this spare blade? Ooh, can I, uh... Can I combine that with my broken piece of crap here? It's not actually a broken piece of crap, but... Aha! We have the retractor again. Medical instrument designed to separate the edges of incisions or hold bones and organs back. Good! A long scroll like the one town heralds would read. Looks like a sermon. But we have the retractor again. I don't know what that good will do us. An impressive painting. Perhaps a treasure in its own right. I thought you were a history major, Grace. Do you not know what this stuff is? Maybe one of the monks was really into geography and astronomy. Nah, that's not how monks work. What? Uh-oh. Ah, uh, nope. Grace, don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything's fine, Grace. 
musical instruments. Makes sense, considering this place is devoted to the patroness of music. Yeah, but again, a uh, hundred years in damp and the, uh, you know, just forgotten will uh, wreak havoc on musical instruments. Alright, so that leads back out there. I guess we can unlock this, but we don't need to go out there. Yeah, we're taking the latch off. There is a place to hide out there, though. That's good to know. Oh, there's something... Something down there on the left, at the bottom of the... Oh, it's a basilica, not the sanctuary. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know my church terminology well. Not that that's a huge loss, but... It is what it is. I guess we should go check out what's in that far left corner. I kind of feel like that's where I ended the last episode. Did I check on something and not realize it? Eh, we'll take another look. Oh, that... That was right in my ear. This confessional looks relatively intact. Much to my surprise, it has a slit to post written confessions through. Nice. Wait. That was an X there. But we... Here, you can have Hushers haikus. They've done me a world of good. No? Okay. What are these confessions for? Oh! Keep my collectible item for later? Yeah? The door. What is this? Am I am I making Oh, that's a creepy looking car, jeez. What is uh what is this? Okay. Thanks. You want this one too? I feel I didn't like the oh I didn't like the flashing lights at the end of the hall there. Oh. You're you're just gonna give me the same one again. That's cool. Oh wait, no. There's a Yeah, that's the one I got. What it I can't read that. The colors all blown out on it. The darkness, huh? And the the door. Alright, well that's that's terrible. Good. I'm glad I did that. Oh yeah, I I'm not gonna open this because I feel like there's something terrible in here. When I was little I used to go to church with my parents, but I never went as far as to confess. Yeah, same here, but the the, the one I went to, uh confessions were not a were not a thing. That wasn't the style I went to. Though I really don't miss it all that much anyway. Yeah, there was something over here. What's over here? Anything? Instant death for Grace? Oh, that's where I came out. So there was nothing in here. Huh. What was the point of this place then? I, I don't know. I assume there was some point, you know? And just come in here for no reason. I mean, we dropped off those confessions, and that was cool. We got some tarot cards, but... It's as if something had suddenly torn out the bottom half of the staircase. Okay, cool. I mean, that's not cool. That's bad. Oh, we got the retractor repaired. That's kind of more or less why we came over here. Three different... Oh, nope, that's the insanity scroll. Don't look at that. So it was over here then. I don't think we checked this out. Did we check this out? I don't think so. Maybe we did. Texts are in Latin. They seem like prayers. Okay. Ooh, what's that? St. Cecilia Winter Concert. It's still hanging here. Really? In like the 1900s. The early 1900s. If they were having like a party, they would like... Somebody had to draw up a banner, a cloth banner for that and hang it. Man. They must have reused the crap out of those. Oh, is that? Hey, Mr. Neuer, it's no use. You won't be able to force the door open. Oh, that's right. That's where Daniel's trying to bust in. Wait, if she tells him Daniel don't bother, you're not going to force your way in. If Grace dies, guarantee you Daniel's still going to be sitting there and be like, Man, I can't get this door open. This is a real shame. Did we check out in here? I feel like we did check out in here. We're going to check it out again just for funny. Funny? No, for funsies. There we go. Religious icons. Oh, that was, yep, that was the line about Omar. And then we got a uh, good old super depressing Jesus on the cross over here. Always doubted my faith. Any advice, Jesus? Hilariously enough, Jesus is silent. Alright, so let's get the heck out of here then. Not really sure what the heck we're going to use for... Use the retractors on. 
But we kind of... I don't like the silhouette down there in that room. We're gonna... We're gonna hard right past that. And we don't have anything for the... Whatever that was to lower... Adver spade. To lower that, uh... The incense burner. We have deoxizing solution, bellows, retractor, and one of the keys. We, we still need three more keys, which is a lot. And as far as I know, this is not a bronze key. Yellowish key. Well, I mean, that could be bronze, but yeah, no, that is uh, that's not the droids we're looking for. All right. So I guess let's go check out the... the uh, don't like that corpse sitting there. Mm-mm. I guess let's go check out the, the graveyard, because we kind of just glossed over that, trying to get Grace to go pick up um, Ernest slash Erica's personal belongings after they died horribly for no reason at all. But we have enough items, so we should be able to do something out here, right? And let's avoid that uh, obviously evil tomb that opened up that they wanted us to go down to. There's, there's no way that that was not evil. Hello, creepy graveyard. Anyone? Because I assume I have a, sh a shovel to dig up a grave. That's that's what I would figure. God, I wish I didn't have to do this, but I think I could pry open the grave with the spade. Oh? Wait. Oh, uh, crap. Grace. Grace. No, 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 no. Oh. Uh, uh, don't die horribly. There's nothing here except for human remains. Okay, good. I can't, believe I, did that for nothing. I can't believe you're not dead. But I guess that's why we're here. We're here to pry open graves. His eyes are veiled. I can't say I'd have wanted to see what happened here either. Yeah. What's this? This, that, oh, that's, that's, that's the nothing. Okay, good. Branches are blocking the entrance to the crypt. Wait. Branches, you say, huh? Can I hit them with a shovel? Maybe dump a, a highly acidic oxidizing solution on them? No? Okay, good. Yeah, because let's see. Now that there's no map marker or anything for that, so that's nothing. Alright, let's, uh, ooh, what is this? Can we open this? I'm sure the key would open the lock if the keyhole weren't completely covered with rust. Ooh, that I do have something for. Yeah, dump that deoxidizing solution on there. Yeah, that's super safe to just handle like that. <laughs> like, it's like smoking and just, okay. There we go. Good. I hope this is worth it. Yeah, I guess. Oh, it, it doesn't even give me like a prompt. It's just crack that bad boy open. Grace, if one of these kills you, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to blame these on the game. Nothing here except for human remains. Okay. Oh, thank you, obvious angel. Or death, I guess? You're pointing at this one, so I assume this is the correct one? If it isn't, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna be upset, death. Ah! Looks like they tried to hide a key by burying it next to the dead body. Librarian's ornate key. Well, there's key number two. Reminds me of a totem. I mean... Reminds me of a key, Grace, but... You want to thank Totem? That's cool. What? How can you tell he's a corpse? Most tombs in this cemetery look quite new. They can't be over 200 years old. Okay. That's fun facts from Grace. Thank you very much, Grace. That's lovely. Thank you for that bit of information. Most tombs in the cemetery... Yeah, okay. Um... Most tombs in the cemetery... Okay, cool. Alright, so we're not cracking open any more tombs. That was what we needed for the tombs. This niche is from 19th century, apparently. Oh, now you're gonna bust out your history knowledge, Grace. You're gonna be dropping the knowledge on us now. Those tombs are blah, blah, blah. Well, yes, we've, we've seen that four or five times now. Thank you very much. What is this? A gothic mausoleum. I don't like the moaning of the damned off in my ear. That's... Yeah, I don't like that at all. It's probably built a few centuries after the Abbey. If you could stop moaning in my ear, that would be appreciated. It is highly disconcerting. I don't like it. Thank you for the key. 
Yep, come on, Grace. You can get around that, and there we go. The real question was, is there anything else out here we need? Because this area is pretty big. We might as well... Hmm, do I have that key? No, I don't think I have any key, actually. Yeah, because the only key we have left to get is the bronze key. Hmm. And I doubt it would be out here, right? That wouldn't make sense. Oh, jeez, I don't like stuff in the foreground. Alright, that's where we came up. Let's go down and take a right here, just to be on the safe side. What? What are you pointing at, Death? Yeah, I don't like that. Could you stop moaning in my ear? That's... That's one of the least awesome things that has ever happened to me, ever. I doubt the crypt is open. I'm pretty sure that's the crypt that opened up when we walked by originally, Grace, so... I don't know what kind of crazy talk you're yammering on about. Statues are old and look really depressing. Well, I can agree wholeheartedly with that. Alright, so what do we have now? We have... Two of the four keys. A retractor. I still have the deoxidizing solution. Okay. And the bellows. Hmm. I don't know what to do with any of that. There's nothing out here. And I'm pretty sure this just leads up to... Come on, there we go. Hey, there we go. There's nothing up here but the this locked door. Yeah, if I recall... This door is locked. Oh, and there's the red light again. Okay, yep, we're gonna leave now. Alright, because it's gonna be quite the haul to get back to where I'm supposed to go, which I don't know entirely where that is, we're going to... You know what? We're just gonna say I'll be back once I figure out what I'm supposed to do, because I'm not exactly sure right now. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, alright, geez. Uh, yeah, sorry, freaked out there, okay. Let's just be calm here. Nope. Just relax, Grace, it's fine. We can get through this, as long as you don't look at it. Don't look at it, Grace. Grace, I know you want to, but don't. See, there's this thing you can do. Your eyes have these things that you can cover to not see stuff can really just fix your field of vision so you don't see things. Real easy, Grace. Shut your eyes. No? You're just gonna leave them open? Okay, that's great. I was worried that was gonna happen. As soon as we got out of the graveyard that was gonna go down, I knew it. Jesus Christ, my whole life just flashed before me. What? I didn't see that. <laughs> when did you see that? I didn't get to see that cool stuff. All right, either way, uh, yeah, we will, I will be back once I figure out what's going on, okay? All right, sounds good. Jeez, can't be just running like that, Grace, that's not cool. That's dangerous. Still got this thing. Let's try, can we retract this? Is this retractable? Oh, oh, it is retractable. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's the last game we need. I mean, it's not the last, uh... Monk has a key in his hand. God, should I try to take it? Yeah, we kind of need that key. And I don't see any other way to get it, so... Just be very careful, Grace. Don't... Don't chop your arm off, Grace. Ooh, cool. Awesome. Nailed it. Alright, so that's the... It's thick and sturdy. A heavy key with a slight patina. That's, uh, that's the last key we need. We can go around unlocking the rest of these doors. It was frozen. Oh. I thought you were, like, getting possessed there, Grace. I was like, what are you, muttering in tongues? Don't do that. That's weird. Alright, so I don't want to... I don't want to head back through the graveyard quite this second. We'll save that for last, I guess. Let's head into the scriptorium, I guess. Because that's right here. Because I guess we, our job now is to sweep and clear. Start unlocking the last of these doors. So we can get the last two keys. Because we're, what, we're still at two out of four. Yeah. This door is not evil, I trust. 
Good. Yeah, we're fine. Is there a hiding place in here? Yes, there is. Just gonna have to kind of double check now when we hit a hiding place. Kind of memorize it. Yes, oh boy, I don't want to... I don't want to have to restart this chapter. <laughs> what do we got in here? Stuff? Luckily, we've got a copy of all these books back at the university. Well, aren't you lucky, Grace? What's this? Notes on botanicals. Oh, I swear, if this is the plant puzzle that we needed. Partial instructions on how to make a natural deoxidizer. Yeah, it is. Warehouse lock is absolutely covered in rust. I need a corrosive substance to open it. And the dilathigos... Diathiligos blend would be perfect after adding ill-eligible Ill name and cooking it. It grows everywhere. I need to cut some of its characteristic red petals. They have yet to blossom. Oh, okay. Got them jokes. So that was, um... That was part of that puzzle. That wasn't even the, the weird puzzle we were supposed to figure out right there at the plant mixing station. That was the, the part that I didn't understand. What do we have here? Seems fine. Seems a little rumbly, but I, I think that's okay. Let's open it up. Latch is rusted. Won't be able to open the door while it's like this. Rust, you say? I have just the thing for rust. Yeah, dump some of that acid on there. Yeah. Perfect. I managed to break up the rust. Do we still have that? No. Alright, so that was the last thing we needed the deoxidizer for. What are the... Oh, caffeine pills. They help me do everything quicker and better. I don't know where I'd be without them come exam time. Okay. I was just gonna say, I don't think I expected those before. Alright, so what's behind this door? Oh, another tiny room. Good, good. The Librarian's Confession. Brother Ernino's Admission of Guilt. I locked up my brothers as though they were animals and I left them to die. Well, that sounds like it makes you guilty, friend. What a shame and what a waste. I'd love to have these books back at college. Okay, nerd. Why don't you just calm down? <laughs> They're just books. Okay. So what did we... This, this room is useless. This basically just told us about the deoxidizer, deoxidizer, which we already have. Okay, fine. That's cool. Cool story. Let's get the heck out of here, then. I'd like to leave, please. Alright, so that's one bronze key door down. There's another one. Well, I got that one up there. But I'm pretty sure there's another one somewhere here. Maybe it's upstairs? No. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, yeah, duh. Back the way we came. One of the doors, uh, in between here in the connection to the graveyard, or the, the basilica, had a locked bronze door, right? Yeah. That is correct. Hard left into here. Yeah, I don't like that corpse just sitting there. That's very unsettling. So this one, right? I believe this is the door. Not that one. There we go. No sooner said than done. That's a weird thing to say when you unlock a door, Grace. Let's listen to it before we open it. Yeah, it seems fine. Thankfully, the the evil doors are pretty obvious. This looks pretty complex. It must move something really heavy. Okay. Can I, can I stick a bellows in there? Well, that... No way to attach this onto the mechanism. Okay. Yeah, I was worried about that. I guess we have to go get that gear. It smells like rancid oil in here. Okay, that's gross. Thank you for making me aware of how nasty it is in here. Alright, so we have to go and get that gear, which is probably probably down there with that hidey hole. Alright, so we'll take care of that. Alright, but I think I'm going to leave that for... Ah, I think I'm going to leave that for the next episode. So yes, Grace, it was. So that's all the time I have for this episode today. Thank you everybody so much for joining. I'm Devo at Lost Time Gaming. We were in the shoes of Grace here in Song of Horror. And, uh, yeah, this... This, there wasn't a, a whole lot of scares in this, but the whole atmosphere for me was really unsettling this time. And uh, I really enjoyed it. And 
Hopefully we'll be wrapping up this abbey and never come here ever again. Maybe in the next episode, maybe not. Who knows? Check out and check out a uh, next episode to see. That being said, thanks for watching, Jave. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my commentary, the gameplay, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.